So Chad, I say Christmas in July was such a success. So yeah, it was exciting. great. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Nice to do something for the members since we can't host our normal members functions here and now we're going to miss out on Bub Burst. Yeah, it's very sad but we're bringing it to you again and um, a really nice menu and some beautiful wine so looking forward to it Sal. Okay, let's get in the kitchen. Is it just as easy as last time? Even easier. Yay! Okay Sally, I've organised this, um, this menu around cooking outside possibly on barbecue, but if we don't have barbecues, don't stress, we've got frying pans, we've got skillets, we can do all these things in those. We're making our canapé, so we're going to put our chorizo on the barbecue, a little bit of oil, and just to give that a little bit of a fry up, then we're going to get our bread, put a little bit more olive oil on that. And on the grill. As you can see, that's frying up real nice. Then put all the rest of the ingredients into here. So into a bowl, Kat. Into a bowl. Okay. Put this into the bowl after it's nice and crispy. And this bread. Grab a spoon and we'll go over and plate it up. Yeah, just give this a little mix. Been long. Doesn't this look good, Sal? Oh, and that's so easy. Like, honestly, I think I could really manage to do that. So proud. <laughs> you know, cooking's not my thing. It's definitely not your that's thing. That's a chore here. Exactly right. There you go. And you've got a little bit left over, so if you really want to pile it up, you can. Excellent. Chardonnay pin on my with this one. Perfect. Sally, it's duck salad time. I'm so excited for this course. You love your little pocket, don't I you? I do. Excellent. Okay, so get your duck, put it onto the grill. Now again, you're going to have a little bit of that oil left over from the bruschetta. So just give that a little bit of oil there. Okay, mix it through. Then head over. And we'll start assembling your salad. Now start with your micro herbs and just spread them out around the plate. Some nice asparagus. Then we've got this beautiful blood orange. So if you've never had blood orange before, it tastes exactly like your normal orange, but it's just red, really, really red. Now don't waste the juice. Throw your juice on as well. Mm, fresh dressing. Then, a little bit of nuts. Here is white balsamic and extra virgin olive oil. We make this here on site, gives a really nice flavour. Then we'll pop back over onto the grill and we'll get our duck. So Sal, as you can see here, look at that crispiness. Delicious. That is good. That is flavour. Mm. Now because these have been comfy, there's plenty of salt in there and they've been cooked for 12 hours overnight. So it's all just going to fall apart. Can't wait to eat this. Me too. Just place in the centre of your blood oranges. Salad is done. And the Brut Rosé is an absolute perfect match with your little bit. Beautiful. Okay, we have our lamb back strap. Uh, we're going to put some oil onto the grill. Just a nice little bit there. Seasons it up nicely. And let that cook. Now you don't want to overcook this. This will probably take about three minutes each side. So it's been on for about three minutes now. Just give it a quick little turn. Insert a nice caramelization there. Another three minutes on that side, and then we'll let it rest. So I've taken this off the grill. I'm resting it for about two to three minutes, depending on how you like it as well. The longer you rest it, the more it'll actually bleed. So the more juice will come out. Um, what we're gonna do, just going to start putting our salad together real quick. So you've got the couscous there, which is just pasta really. Some beautiful shard leaves. Some Spanish onion for a bit of spice and sweetness. And pomegranates. And the juice. 
juice is always important. Give that a little toss around and using hands or tongs wherever you feel more comfortable. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, you can do it different ways. I'm just going to cut this into three. So nice slices like that. And look at that, that's beautifully cooked. Grab your yogurt. Now this has got mint, um, some salt, some pepper, beautiful things in there. Straight on top. And Sally, a 2011 Merlot. Absolutely, Chad. And if ever there was a match for this, that dish is it. Looks good. Cheers. So we're on to dessert now. Today we have for you our ash brie, which is beautiful from Minori. Again, you can do this barbecue, pan, anything. Just going to stick it on a piece of baking paper so it doesn't stick. Put it on the grill, get nice and hot. Then we're going to take our honey mixture and we're going to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So after this has been on your barbecue pan, whatever, for a little bit, it'll be a bit soft, a bit gooey. So we will carefully take it off with the help of a tray or a plate, whatever you have. Maybe not like that. Pop it onto your plate. This is our honey thyme sultana mixture that we've heated up. 30 seconds. Pour that over the top. Oh. And you are good to go. Fabulous. I think this is so much better than a dessert for a spring lunch. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Alright, I think match this with our sparkling hydrata setting. Okay, Chad, well that's another ISO experience done. Yes, it is, yeah. But first, um, as much as we've enjoyed our ISO Christmas in July, ISO Bud Burst and Bubbles, we really hope we can get our club members back here soon to enjoy our club member events. Looking forward to seeing you all back. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.